All right, guys, here I just want to point out the three grounding points that Hondata recommends. So here is our ground from the timing cover. I went ahead and I went to the negative because it's just right there. Um, you can go there or the chassis like Hondata recommends and you don't need a thick cable is what they say. Um, the next thing I did was on the TSX, the ground is always on the manifold. So I went ahead and I moved that to the middle of the valve cover like Hondata recommended. And the final ground, which is the transmission bracket, um, this wire right here, we ran this straight to the chassis. And um, I was having an issue before uh, the car wouldn't crank. Um, so I had some people explain to me it was the ground. So went ahead and did the research and now the car cranks. Um, I'm gonna have Nick crank the engine. So just to show you, we're still trying to figure out the feeling issue right now. With making your own ground cables, you can um, design it however you want. If you want to put a black sleeve on, like some of the cables out on the market. All right, here are the tools I'm gonna list that I'm gonna use. So we're gonna need uh, cables, grounding cables. Um, in my case, I have a six gauge and I have this cable that I got from another Honda. Um, and the, the grounding cable that goes from the transmission to the chassis, Honda recommends it to being thick, but the cable that goes from the timing cover to the battery or the chassis, doesn't have to be that thick, but I'm going to use a six gauge. Um, you're going to need some ring terminals. I'm going to use this clamping tool. And to how this is going to work is you're going to put the ring in there, use the hammer, and you're going to smack it, and it's going to crimp the ends of that. Um, some wire cutters, wire strippers. But in my case, I will probably be using a razor blade just because this stripper is too small to strip these bigger cables. So with this ground, I am going to go from the valve cover to the negative of the battery. You know, I am probably going to try to make it as clean as I can. Um, I know I have quite a bit of wires and stuff laying around um, my main goal is to get this started first and then we will work on cleaning up the engine bay So here's another thing that I'm going to do. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to add a sh heat shrink um, to cover this just so it has a nicer look. So um, so before crimping your wires, make sure you put your shrink, shrink wrap in before you do that. But here I am fortunate that this will actually go over it. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so here is the ground. 
with the shriek ramp makes it look a little bit nicer on the TSX the ground normally goes here on the manifold but uh, since this is uh, a K20 harness we are going to move this grounding point to here in the middle of the stud of the head Okay, for the final ground that I'm gonna do is from the transmission to the chassis, um, just like Honda recommended. This bracket came off of um, a RSX uh, Type S, the K20A2, and this mounts right here in front of the transmission. Um, I know this is the K24, but it's highly recommended that we do the same ground as the K20. So I'm going to clean this up and get this put in. So here's the factory wire for the ground on um, the RSX. And the gauge on that looks like... Um, I'm not positive, but... I'm guessing somewhere between an eight and a six gauge. I have this wire, which is actually out of a um, factory Honda. Actually, it came out of a Honda Pilot, and uh, it's definitely a lot thicker than that cable. Um, so I should be okay. Um, this is probably the cable that you would want to be the the thickest cable so we want to get a cable made okay here is the RSX bracket all cleaned up now we are going to run a ground cable from here to the chassis okay so with this ground wire from the transmission to the chassis what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use one of the bigger bolt holes I think it's a 17 so I needed this bigger um, ring terminal so it's gonna go from a 10 millimeter bolt to a 17 millimeter bolt and Hondata says to keep the wire short and thick so this is what we're doing okay we grinded some of the uh, primer off okay guys I know I said it was a 17 millimeter bolt I made a mistake it's actually a 14 so here is my thick ground wire from the transmission front bracket to the chassis all right, here Nick is gonna show me how we're gonna test our battery and our grounding. And here's a, here's a way that he uh, measures it. So it's, we have this turned to um, 12 volts. He's got the positive and negative, and it shows 12.55. And so what he's gonna do next is he's gonna take the negative and he's gonna test the grounds. So here's the cable that we did for the timing cover to the uh, negative on the battery and he's gonna touch that and we get a 12.55 so we know that that's good so next grounding that we had to do is in the middle of the valve cover and he touches the ground there we got 12.55 which looks good and then now we're gonna take this and then we're gonna do it on our transmission um, case to the chassis so I'm gonna to touch that with the negative and then we also get a 12.55 and also I know my car has been repainted and I just want to make sure my grounds are good so I'm gonna check my other grounding points so here's a factory grounding point so we're gonna to touch that there we also get a 12.55 and I have another grounding point here. Twelve point five five. And then just to show you something different, uh, Nick explained to me like here we have a radiator. 
So I'm just gonna touch one of these bolts on the radiator. Support. And you can see the grounding is kind of fluctuating. So that means it's not as good. It's an okay ground, but it's not as good as closer to the source itself, the, the chassis.